Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the ring your RPW general manager, Dr. Johnny Gayton. As you just heard, October 26th is going to be a big day for RPW, but even bigger is October 30th. October 30th will be the Oktoberfest here. The two individuals that TNA has chosen to wrestle on the live TV taping of Impact Wrestling, they're at the Macon Coliseum, are going to be captaining teams in our first ever war game. So War Games will be here on October 30th. Let me bring out the first team captain, Jimmy Ray. Well, it looks like we're going to be hearing from both of the captains at War Games, Ben. Dr. Johnny Gayton going to be separating these two, and somebody needs to. And they'll both be, as he said, at TNA on Wednesday, October 26th, in the opening bout for that TV taping. The, the next team member, Kyle Matthews. Kyle Matthews, much more fans of board here than Jimmy Ray will have. And we saw last week Kyle Matthews that close to going to the finals in a tough match with Luke Gallows. I don't think I've seen a match where Matthews hasn't been impressive and hasn't been a contender all the way to the end. He may not win them all, but by golly, he comes close every now, time. Before I hear from each of you who your team members are, I want to explain how this War Games is going to work. First of all, this ring is going to be surrounded by a steel cage. And we will pick one member from each team. They will compete for two minutes. Then every 90 seconds, we will be adding another competitor. Obviously, there will be an advantage a two-on-one advantage for a 90-second period of time. Once everybody is inside the cage, then the match beyond begins. And there will be no pinfalls and no disqualifications. It will be submit or surrender. Got it? Jimmy, apparently they're saying you have a history of surrendering. Right, I'd like to hear from you first. Who's your team member? Listen, my team is pretty simply explained by this. It's everybody that is a Jimmy Rave approved. My very own wrestling machine, Corey Hollis. Mr. WrestleMania, Mike Posey. The original Strawberry Shortcake, Chip Day. He said it. And my close and personal and very best friend, Sal Renaro. How close are they after that gauntlet? Sounds like quite a formidable team. Kyle? Would you share with us who your team members are? For my team, I have chosen Adrian Hawkins, Patrick Bentley, Ace Rockwell, and J Rod. Great team. Another very formidable team. 
Now, you know, in a, a football game, you normally toss a coin to see who gets an advantage. Maybe I'll toss a coin for this one. Well, you know what, Jimmy? I'm all out of money. <laughs> Here at RPW, you earn any advantage that you get. All right. So at our next television taping, we're going to have a 10-man tag. The winner will get the advantage at War Games. All right. Sounds fair to me. So our next television taping, a 10-man tag consisting of all five members of each team. I'll tell you right now, Jimmy Raver proves he's going to have the advantage. And a sucker punch. Well, he knew this that. was going to happen. There's no referee. This isn't a match. This is simply an attack. But right now, Kyle Matthews has the advantage. And I think Doc Gayton's going to just let it go. He's a little happy about this. He's watching Kyle Matthews. Oh, but here comes the backup team. Can't be all of the now. approved rave. Everybody is coming out. And all of the approved athletes are now out. Sal Renaro coming out. Mike Posey, Missile WrestleMania, as he's been called. Chip Day, the wrestling machine, Corey Hollis, and Kyle Matthews need some all help alone. Out here. Come on, I need some people from the back. Well, it appears now Adrian Hawkins has managed to come out here. He ducks one right there, comes off back double elbow right there. Down goes Hollis, down goes Day, and he follows Day out of the ring. Hollis is out, and here comes Bentley. Bentley is in, and he's pulled off Sal Renaro, but Posey is there from behind. Posey peels off. He's caught by Rockwell. Round and around and around he goes. Where he lands, nobody knows. Only he even knows. Well, Posey out to the outside and down to the floor, and out goes. Now we've got only two sets of people in the ring. Sal Renaro is being caught, and it looks like we're going to get him destroyed right here. But in comes... Ho in comes Corey Hollis, back elbow right to the mouth of Patrick Bentley and out on the floor goes Kyle Matthews and Bentley is down and looks out. We saw that back elbow in that gauntlet last week and Bentley has been, wait a minute, Bentley has been busted open internally. That's not good. He's That's coming out of his mouth, Ben. He may have broken a jaw here. Now. That's what you don't want to see an in internal injury. We need injuries. referees. We need somebody out here right now. This is a dangerous situation. Well, Sal, Sal Renaro is showing the only sense out there right now. Sal stopping him. We, we saw some problems between these two in the gauntlet. And now Ace Rockwell back in the ring. Kyle Matthews back in the ring while these guys argue. And it looks like they're getting him out. J-Rod conspicuous by his absence right here. I, I didn't see him backstage for this event. He may have had another opportunity. But right now down and blood is coming out of his mouth. I don't I don't know what exactly may have happened in there, but we're gonna have to get a medic, some medical attention on this young man immediately. Patrick Bentley had Sal Renaro hooked in the destroyer, caught with the back elbow by Hollis. Do you remember the first time he caught that elbow on Marvelous Michael Stevens? Stevens knocked Loopy and- Yes, he did. And was bloody from the mouth at the time, but this is much worse. That elbow, uh, very dangerous, and being blind, you never know where it's coming from, and. This man obviously has some injuries, and of course, Doc, Doc Gaten is a physician, and he knows some physicians. And you notice Gaten not moving him care. quickly at all at this point. He doesn't seem to be having any trouble breathing, and that's good news right there, but. He's throwing up blood right now. That's, that's, that's I don't know if he caught him in the jaw or caught him in the throat, Ben, do you know? I couldn't tell from here, but. Oh, uh, well, fans. Serious injury here. Fans appreciative, but this is a scary situation here with young Padlick Bentley, new to our company, and. And now I, I guess he sees what these guys, and Salvanaro uh, even realizing how serious it was. I mean, this is something that you don't want to see someone getting injured to this degree. Now they're taking their time with Patrick Bentley. Fans, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break. Well, yeah, we'll be back right after these messages. Help. 